Well, let's get the latest from the NBL now. And the Sydney Kings were handed their first home defeat of the season when they went down to the Jack Jumpers yesterday. It was the Kings' second loss to the Tasmanian side this season. I'm very lucky to chat a little bit more about it with Kings assistant coach Fleur McIntyre. Fleur, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me on. I have to ask, what is it about the Jack Jumpers this season? <laughs> yeah, this season, not so great. I think that, you know, we're forming a really nice little rivalry with them, which I think we probably had the wood over them the last couple of seasons. But unfortunately for us, our two losses this year have come at their hands. So looking forward to game three against them, hopefully turning that around. Yeah, definitely. You had a review today. What were the main points that you took out of yesterday's game? Look, I think we can't start the way we started. You know, we can't give up 36 points in the first quarter. So I think the onus is on us as a group and as our starting five to come out and set the tone defensively. Uh, I thought we weren't physical enough into the ball. There was too much separation and, you know, giving up 36 points and then over 100 isn't going to win you very too many basketball games. So Bitterly disappointed, I think, as a playing group and as a coaching staff, and we're looking to turn that around this week. Yeah, certainly. Still 4-2 and two to start the season. Pretty impressive. Are you enjoying, I guess, how the team's shaping up and the cohesion at the moment? Really, I am. It's such a wonderful group to be part of. I think the pleasing thing for us is we've added so many new players and they've just fitted in seamlessly to the City Kings and how we want to play under our new coaching structure. Um, I think when you have imports like Jalen Adams and Denzel Valentine who are willing to share the ball... There's a selfless brand of basketball. If we can fix it on the defensive end, I think we're going to be, you know, hard to beat come the pointy end of the season. Talk us through that coaching structure, new coach, bit of a different dynamic. How's that all going? Are you guys enjoying it so far? Wonderful. I'm very spoiled in that I've been able to learn under two excellent head coaches. Mahmoud's coming in. He's had such an incredible impact already. Uh, I say it all the time. We have so much fun as a staff. It's so much fun to go to work every day. It's a joy to be around great humans. And that's the assistant coaches, the players. And he's putting a wonderful stamp on the Sydney Kings and our brand of basketball. You spent a little bit of time um, over in the Summer League recently, San Antonio. How vital was that and how much are you bringing that back into the NBL? Yeah, it was really interesting. It, uh, it's certainly a lot of money and resources over in the NBA and uh, certainly a different level. It was really interesting to watch how they go about it and be in their coaches' meetings. Uh, getting exposed to someone like Victor Wembanyama and being able to see him, I think, excel. Like his first couple of games, he had a, a pretty poor one to start summer league and everyone was calling him a bust. Um, there's a reason those people aren't scouts and identifying talent. So he is going to be incredible. And I think being in his orbit and just watching how the Spurs operate, how they're willing to develop him across the, the length of this NBA season is really exciting. Because he's only, is it 19? Yeah, yeah. He's incredible. Yeah. He's lanky. Yeah, he? but he is lanky the guy. hugest <laughs> human being I've ever seen in my entire life. So it was, the things he can do on a basketball court is just eye-opening. It's incredible. So, yeah, really lucky that I got to watch that in, in pre-season and, and have front row seats to it all. Yeah, certainly. You're back on the road again. You've been drawing some massive crowds at home. Unfortunately, though, heading... Uh, up north against Cairns this weekend, 3v4. What are you guys expecting from the game? It'll be exceptionally tough again. I think Cairns always play a really physical, uh, defensive-minded style of basketball. They've obviously just come back from America where they played some, some games against the NBA team. So I think for us, we've got to come out and play hard. Uh, we certainly have to set a far better tone defensively and not let them get the jump on us early. So I think if we can stick to our game plan, be disciplined and execute against teams' physicality, which we didn't do against the Jack Jumpers yesterday, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. So I have to talk about your own ambitions as an NBL coach. You've been learning off some incredible people, but what about yourself personally? Will we see you coach an NBL side one day? Maybe. Uh, I look, I think I get asked that question a lot. It's something that it's probably been in my mind for the last 12 months. At the moment, I'm just trying to do the best job possible for the City Kings and my guys. But I'd be lying if I didn't think that, you know, perhaps one day head coaching, whether that's here in Australia or perhaps overseas, is something that's sort of sitting in the back of my mind. So never say never. Um, but the here and now, I'm here with the City Kings and we're trying to win this thing for the third time in a row. Yeah, well, wishing you all the best in your own career and on Saturday against Cairns. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it. No worries.